I grew up in Texas, and uh, my family, we're from South Texas, we're from Mexico. And um, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I am excited to be here. I'm a Mexican-American in Montreal, so I'm seeking asylum. Jeez, uh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> For the price of a cup of coffee, you can <laughs> sponsor me. Uh, it's insane, but like, my first language is actually Spanish. I learned English later on in life, and now in, as, as an adult, I speak three languages. I speak Spanish, English, and Caucasian. <laughs> now, Caucasian is like English, but I have to use fancy words I don't normally use, like organic and deductible. So let me give you an example. Like in my everyday life, when my friends mess up, I'm like, girl, you messed up. But in Caucasian, I'm like, ma'am, that is unacceptable. <laughs> See? Like, bitch, I will ruin your life. <laughs> let me speak to a manager. You guys are clapping like, yeah, we've got power. <laughs> but I grew up in a small town in the middle of nowhere. And sometimes when you grow up in a town like that, you end up living in a bubble. You know, uh, you think that your little town represents the whole world. My town was small. We didn't have a lot of diversity. So everybody was, everybody I grew up with was Mexican, Latino. So we didn't have a lot of white people, black people, Asian, like nothing. So I grew up thinking everyone in the world was Mexican. <laughs> then I went to college to St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> and I realized like, oh, I'm a minority, right? <laughs> 2019 has been a very good year for me. I don't want to brag, but I had a big birthday in January. I turned 40 and I love it. <laughs> 40 is good. It's good. You realize that at 40, you're not old and you're not young. You're like right in the middle. I kind of feel like I'm an iPhone 6. <laughs> you know, like I'm missing some of the features the newer models have, but guess what? I'm affordable and I get the job done, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clap my fellow iPhone 6ers, yes. It's weird because I've noticed things haven't changed, but they have sub in subtle ways, you know? Like, all of a sudden now, I wanna be thanked when I do nice things for people. And I get very pissed off when I don't get a thank you. <laughs> Example, if we're in traffic and I let you into my lane, <laughs> and you don't give me one of these, Screw you! Oh! Oh! No! The other day I was going to bed and I started thinking, you ever notice, this is another thing that bothered me, people my age, like 40 and older, you ever notice we never got thanked for learning the internet? <laughs> we were the first people to do the internet. We were technological cavemen, no thank you. You're welcome, future. <laughs> like, they don't understand. One day we went to bed, no internet. The next day, AOL CDs with 1,500 hours on them. <laughs> like, we didn't know what to do. We had to figure it out. You guys remember when the internet was so new, it would make noises when it was hooking up <laughs> to show you it was trying, like struggling for its life, like, ah! Got mail. <laughs> Thank you guys. My name is Christelle Alonso. Thank you so much.